Hi everyone and welcome back to Treat Tuesday. Excited to be sharing another new product. A cereal you can buy right at Walmart and there are three flavors. We'll go over that. But before, if you're new to the channel, right there, down there, is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around my channel to help this channel to grow so I can help many people with many different things. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up if cereal is something you're interested in. Stay tuned, everyone. Welcome back. Great to see all of you guys and great to be doing another treat video. Now I do realize that there are cereals out there you can order online, but this one is something that you can get right at Walmart and we're going to go over it and we're going to try it right on here with all of you guys because I'm excited and I'll tell you the different flavors. But first, let's go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women. This one is called One Way, Mark 16, 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And it goes on to say, there is one way to heaven, that's it. Only one way. Regardless of those who teach other pathways, Jesus says the only way is to believe in him. The choice is a personal one, so each person must make her own choice about believing. You must make the choice. You can't sit on the fence and expect salvation. Go through the gate and leave the fence behind. Make a choice for Jesus. The person who does not believe is not saved and will not ever be invited into heaven. So it is very important, you guys, to understand that you need, in order to have your salvation, you need to believe Jesus died on the cross, that he truly did that, that he died for our sins and he rose again. That is your only way to salvation, your only way to heaven. Many people sit and say, well, you know, that person was such a good person. They were so good. They lived their life so good. I know they're in heaven. Not if they didn't believe, they're not. That's sad to say, but it's not. They have to believe. That's the only way. It says right here, one way, one way to enter the kingdom is to believe. To believe that Christ died for us. To believe in Christ. To believe that he walked this earth. That he died for us and rose again. That is your only way to heaven. So you guys got to get your you know your life right with the Lord and believe believe that he did die for us that he it you know truly did walk this earth and that jesus is real that's your only way to heaven that's the only way of your salvation and i myself have been baptized and saved and i know if you ask me right now if i died where am i going i'm heading to heaven where are you going if you died right now do you know 100 percent where you're going if you died right now something to really think about you guys the bottom said, the greatest enemy to human souls is the self-righteous spirit, which makes men look to, to themselves for salvation. And it's by Charles H. Uh, Spur, Spurgeon um, is the bottom part. But that's, you know, that's great. It, it is. It's truly is. The greatest enemy to human soul is self-righteous spirit, is self-righteous spirit. So you guys start your day, go through your day and end your day with this. Read it. This will tell you the truth. This is the truth. Jesus is the, the way, the truth, and the life. And he will get that salvation for you if you believe in him and read this book. Read it. It'll it'll tell you everything so you know you'll be able to believe because everything was predicted right in here. So just pick it up and read it. Get that personal relationship with Jesus. Spend quality alone time with him on your knees, praying to him, opening up his beautiful book here and reading it. You know, God didn't write this for us to collect dust on it. Read it because it will definitely help you to live each and every day and thank Jesus every day. Did you thank him today for waking you? Boy, he died on that cross for us and suffered. So the least we can do is thank him for waking us up and giving us another day and sharing his good word with everyone. Please open this book up and read it. Get ready. Jesus is returning. We don't know when, but he is. And you don't want it to be too late because once he returns and you're left behind, that's it. That's it, you guys. So get right with him right now so you don't get stuck behind. You don't have to, you know, serve pur purgatory or, you know, 
be left behind like in Revelations. You don't want to be left behind and have that Antichrist here taking you down. You want to get to heaven right away with Jesus. You want to go out with him. So get right with the Lord. You want to go right up with him when he comes. Get right with him. Believe in him. Believe. You know, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I know I'm not. What do you have to lose if I'm wrong? But you have a lot to lose if I'm right. And I am right. Get your life right with the Lord. Get it right with the Lord. And get that personal salvation with him so you know where you're going. All right. So cereal. We're going to go ahead and try. I get to break my fast right now. My 40-hour fast. It's been 40 hours since I ate. And I thought I would break it with this. And, of course, I'm going to have a, a yogurt and a few things because I eat, you know, for an, in an eight-hour window throughout the day. About every two hours or so I eat something. And you guys have seen that. I've loaded two videos on Sundays of how I eat on those days. But we're going to go ahead and try this. Um, this one is the peanut butter flavor. Boy, does that smell like peanut butter cereal. Yum. It's Wonderworks is the brand, okay? And it says keto-friendly cereal. This one's the peanut butter. They also have chocolate and they have cinnamon. My husband grabbed this one because chocolate is the one to get sold. Or I mean, I'm sorry, peanut butter is the one to get sold out the quickest. A lot of people can't even find the peanut butter one. My husband said it was the only one there, the peanut butter one. So it must be the best one. And I've heard that the Cocoa Puffs is pretty, I mean, the chocolate is pretty good. It tastes like a Cocoa Puffs and the cinnamon is pretty good. I haven't tried any. This is my first time, but my husband grabbed this being the only peanut butter. He said must be the best one. The ingredients, real quick, I'll read them for you. The ingredients, milk protein, um, concentrate, allulose, peanut flour, uh, erythritol, peanut butter, peanut, uh, peanut salt, whey protein, isolate, insulin, palm kernel oil, palm oil, canola oil, rice starch, soy, um, lacothin, um, natural flavors, stevia extract, vitamin E mixed, um, taco pearls, I can't read that, added to retain freshness, contains milk, peanuts, and soy ingredients. Now, there's a couple things in here that are a little dirty. You know, of course, cereal ain't going to be the cleanest, but sounds pretty clean to me. And for a one, for a full cup, and I did bring one over here. Where did I put it? I know I brought it here. Where did I put it? <laughs> What did I do with it? Come on. Are you kidding me? I know that I brought it over here. Where did I set it? Okay. Give me one sec, you guys. Okay. Back with the one cupper. I want to make sure I get exactly a cup. But one cup, you guys, is three net carbs. A full cup. I've gotten a cereal from my good friend Jennifer, and I've seen other cereals. Now, that one, I believe, is five net, and it's for a half a cup. This one, you get a whole cup, and it's only three net carbs. If you're a net carber, if you're a total carber, this is pretty high that it's 14 if you're a total net carber for just a cup. But I always do net carb. Uh, net carb just means I can deduct the dietary fiber. I can deduct the alcohol sugars and then I get a net carb, which is three net. But let's make sure we measure this out right. Okay. Oops. A couple fell on the floor. Mini will get them. Okay. One cup. Oh, that's quite a lot. I'm excited. We're going to try one dry and then we're going to try one um, with the almond milk. Oh my gosh. Whoa. We're going to do one cup of milk exactly too. Oh my gosh, you guys, that tastes just like a peanut butter cereal. Have you ever had, I don't even know if they're peanut butter kicks or what they are, but just a peanut butter cereal, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. That's what you want, or just unsweetened almond milk. I get the vanilla. All right, let's go ahead and try this on here. Let's slide this back forward so you guys can see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is cereal. I knew I knew that keto would have you know actually come out with the cereal too. They've got everything: bread, cereal, microwave dishes, now pizza. Anything and everything, ice cream, treats, everything. You can buy everything now. It's not boring when I started over five years ago. I just ate meat, cheese, and eggs and green leafy veggies. That was it. They didn't have all these awesome things. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, my brother is going to love this. My brother loves peanut butter cereal. He's going to love my brother, Tommy. I can't wait to try the chocolate and the cinnamon now, but I can definitely tell why people sell out the peanut butter the quickest because it it I don't know I haven't tried the other ones but this one is delicious look at that you guys nice big size pieces oh my gosh yum mm. my 
my friend Jennifer um, sent me that Catalina, I think it is, Catalina cereal. It's a chocolate cereal. Uh, the pieces look almost like a uh, golden gram. Really good. Love it. Love that cereal too. But this tastes way more like cereal than the other one does. This one actually is sweeter. It's done with the uh, erythritol, the um, stevia, and the um, allulose. So great, you know, sugars in there. I just can't believe it, you guys. I can't believe it. It is delicious. Definitely run out and get this. It's at Walmart. And like I said, they have peanut butter, chocolate, and cinnamon. So try all the different flavors. I will let you know if it kicks me. Of course, you know, I like to try products and see if they kick me. You need to try them and see if they kick you. And how you do that is testing. Um, if you use the strips, which you buy at Walmart or any local drugstore, you urinate on them and you test that way. You look at the side to see what color it is, see if you're in ketosis. Um, but that you want to wait hours and hours after you eat something. But if you get the blood meter, the... Um, uh, Keto Mojo. If you get that, that's pretty expensive. Like the strips are only six bucks for a hundred, for 50 strips. But if you get the Mojo, it's $50, 50 strips. After that, you got to spend another $50 just for the strips and you only get 50 strips. But you could eat something and immediately test then. That way you'd be able to tell something right away. So it's your choice how you want to do it or whatever. But I always do the, the urine strips. That's how I do it. I can tell when I get knocked out. Anyways, you've been doing it for a while. You'll know. But I'm going to definitely let you guys know in another video if this kicked me or not. If it didn't, I'll be stocking up on all of them. Now, the price of them is kind of spendy, but it is about the price of any box of cereal. It's a decent sized box. It is, um, what's the size of this box here? Come on, there has to be a size. Um, oh, 10.6 uh, 10 ounces is the size. And it's six dollars and ninety eight cents, just so you know. And this was Walmart, six dollars and ninety eight cents for a box, which most cereals cost about that. And when you're only eating a cup, when you're actually measuring it, because you want to measure it now, if you have enough, then yeah, you can have two cups of it. That would only be six net carbs. But of course, you know, if you're trying to watch your carbs and you're eating more than one meal a day, then you want to be careful and just do a little bit here and there. I'd I always tell people to stay within six, you know, six carbs in a sitting, but I'm doing 40 hour fasting so I could eat more than that. So I could have had two cups, but I'm going to have other things with it. I'm going to have a yogurt and a couple other things with it, but just be measuring it out and making sure you're keeping track of, you know, the, the carbs on it because it does add up quickly. But yeah, a guy could do two and only have six net carbs. So it's just amazing. You guys, I just can't believe it. One more bite. Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait to share this with my brother. He is going to love this. My brother's a huge cereal person. That's one thing he hated to have to give up for keto. And some of the cereals that we've tried online, he hasn't really liked. This one, he's going to love. He is going to love this cereal. And so are you guys. So definitely give it a try. I'll give you my opinion how it, what it did for me, if it kicked me. But definitely make sure it doesn't kick you as well. Everybody will respond differently to it. So check it out for yourself. But keto cereal, you guys, by the Wonderworks. There you go. Peanut butter, chocolate, and cinnamon. Definitely go out and try the different flavors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. And stay strong. We're still on this journey. Who's ever doing this journey with me, stay strong. We can get through this. We're already halfway there. And get close to God. Get that personal relationship with Jesus so you know where you're going if you died right now. I love all of you guys very much.